everyone welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today my name is Nene and you are welcome to my kitchen so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I prepared this bowl of yumminess oh my gosh so this is the turkey gizzard stew and I'm excited to share my recipe and how I prepared this beautiful delicacy so it was a Sunday and I was just in my thoughts I didn't know what to prepare everybody was tired of having jollof rice and you know what I went to my freezer and I saw turkey I was and so turkey gizzard and I was like oh I need to make something different so voila I was able to bring this for prepare this beautiful sauce for my family and we paired it with white rice and also fried plantain and it was so good i can't even tell you you just have to try it to know <laughs> so yes let me go ahead and take you to my kitchen and i'll show you how i made this sauce so if you're not subscribed to my channel why now go ahead and subscribe to my channel okay and when you do please leave me a comment down below letting me know that you're a new subscriber and I'll be more than happy to welcome you okay so most of the ingredients that I'm using here I am going to leave them in the description box so feel free to check them out um, and see what it is that you need okay so in my plate here i have my seasoning which is thyme curry white pepper nor cubes and salt and i have my sliced onions it's a one bob of onions this is my marinated gizzard um, and i have granite oil feel free to use whatever oil you'd prefer and in my bowl i have tomatoes red bell pepper and onions and i blended them also Okay, so I'm going ahead to add my gizzard to my pot. I'm using my pressure pot. Okay, so now I'm setting my timer for 20 minutes just so the gizzard will cook through enough before we fry it. So while I am waiting for the gizzard to cook, I'm going to add my blended tomato, red bell pepper and onions to a pot and allow it to boil down. So this process, you can actually do it if you are making like a big batch, you can just boil your tomato down um, before you start cooking. But I was doing other stuff, so I had to boil my tomatoes now while I'm waiting for my gizzard to cook. Now the tomato has been boiling for about 10 minutes and I'm just going to go ahead and strain the remaining liquid just so it's faster um, but if you have enough time you can allow it to cook down I'm gonna go ahead and check my gizzard now and it is ready you guys can see I'm going to show you what it looks like in a bit So after straining the water from the tomato, this is what it looks like. Yes, and I left it on the fire so the extra water can dry out. So this is what it looks like. And trust me guys, this method makes 
cooking so easy it makes preparing the stew so easy yeah so this is what the gizzard is looking like now it's not too soft and it's not too hard because we are going to be frying so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my gizzard into bit sizes So I'm getting ready to fry my gizzard and I just added my granite oil to the pot. I'm going to allow it to heat up a bit before adding my onions. As you already know, if you watch my previous cooking videos, you know I love to add my onions to oil before I start frying anything, especially meat. So I've allowed my gizzard fry till it's golden brown. You can actually air fry your gizzard or even grill it to your own preference. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of the oil and begin the stew. At this point I'm adding my onions. I'm just gonna allow my onions caramelize a little bit before adding my tomatoes and also this is one thing I love to do I love to add my seasoning to the oil and the onions it just allows everything release its fragrance and also flavor So at this point I'm adding my tomatoes. For this recipe I am not using tomato paste. I just want it as simple as I could get and you can already tell how beautiful this stew is turning out to be. Our stew is almost ready. You can see the oil floating right above it. So at this point I'm, I'm just going to keep stirring my stew so that it doesn't burn. And I'm going to go ahead and add my seasoning at this point because the stew is well fried. You can see the oil right above it. Look at that beauty. Now I'm adding my fried gizzard to the stew because it's ready. Our gizzard sauce is ready. You can see the oil floating right above the tomatoes. It is. It was so yummy and this sauce you can use it. You can pair it with rice, yam, potatoes, spaghetti, couscous. You can even use it with okra um, for the family. It's so yummy and this is actually the third time that I'm making it <laughs> for my family because it wasn't just enough just look at that yumminess oh my gosh trust me guys the whole pot of gizzard sauce was empty before the end of the day like <laughs> My husband was eating it with bread. He even had some fried yam paired with this. And 
for this dinner we had white rice with some mixed veggies in it and fried plantain and the kids I can't even tell you those ones were just smacking their lips it was so good so I encourage you to try this out and please let me know when you do um, if you enjoyed watching give me a like don't forget to share my video with your friends and family and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and until I come your way with another recipe stay winning